Greetings and welcome back to SmartwatchTix.com. Got a fun new ruggedized smartwatch. I tell you, that's the theme of 2024 is solid rugged watches. It's called the Viren W101 smartwatch. And it's from a brand new partner, FossiBot. FossiBot is a company dedicated to all kinds of hardened, seasoned, ruggedized things like their smartphones, uh, they got ruggedized tablets. They got the all kinds of things. These power supply units that they make, and of course, our brand new smartwatch. So let's dive into it. We've got a box, simple little thing to open and pull out the innards. And there's some stuff in both the front and the back. You see a pair of bands there and here. So it comes with. Two bands, orange and black, a nice little watch module there, and a charger. When you're ready to buy, you can head directly over to the FossiBot website. They have it available, discount down to about 70 bucks or so. Check and see if we got a, a coupon discount for you as well. Uh, in the show notes, I'll have that listed for you. Again, it's the Viren W101 Rugged Smartwatch and... Let's take a look at it. I'll show you some more goodies on the specs. The module itself looks like this. It's uh, really well built, lightweight too, actually. Got a cover on it, just a, a film that you can pull off. Um, and of course, you got screen protector and all of that stuff going on. Couple of buttons on the side. Looks like uh, holes for uh, air and, and microphone and speaker on this one. We, like I say, have two different ruggedized um, bands as well. Nice, stretchable, well-designed black and orange come with it. You get them both. And, of course, the charger, which is a two-pin standard magnetically coupled uh, charger with the USB connector on the other side and just simply attaches in the right direction to the watch and can easily hold it for charging. In terms of the user's manual, we have a version in lots of different languages, it looks like. Let's start in on the English over here. Okay, we've got um, a brief introduction, the charging guide, and we're off into different things. Download the app. Uh, this is using the DeFit app, guys. We've done a lot of reviews, including uh, the DeFit app as the, as the one, how you bind it. Remember, you're going to be pairing both for the app and for phone calling. You've got a little bit more in here about it. And then the audio settings, the dial settings here, and introduction to uh, functions. And these sections are the same thing, just in different languages. Mm, a little bit more. Overall sleep, last night's sleep information, weather, movement patterns are in here. It talks uh, a bit about blood oxygen and heart rate monitoring. It does all of that. Music control, Bluetooth calling, and other functions with a little uh, FAQ section for you as well. And that's it on English. Okay, I'm going to put it together and let's give it a try. In terms of ruggedized, it's got one ATM, which is 10 meter waterproofing, IP68 rating on that one, anti-scratch, anti-drop, anti-cold, anti-freeze, down to 40 degrees centigrade, and uh, high temperature resistance as well. In fact, it's certified to a mil standard spec on this one. We've got the watch right here. Press the top button, let it go, and it'll fire it up. Waiting on it. Vibration. And there you go. Drops right into the uh, first watch face. Very colorful AMOLED screen on this one. Twist your wrist to see the time is active on it. You pull down, you got a bunch of different controls, including um, the cards for your social media e-card stuff. Um, brightness levels, which you can go up. Look how bright that is. Super bright. Easy, easy to see outside. And down nice and dim for indoors. We're running it, gee, about a third or so. And that makes the colors nice and rich on the screen. Uh, twist your wrist control is right here. So you can turn that off if you don't want it to activate. You've got uh, alarm right here where you can change from vibration to vibration and ring or mute, uh, whichever you'd like. And then your overall settings, which gets you into display, 
where we have that brightness control again your sleep time currently set at five seconds but you can go up to 30. you got the different watch faces we'll take a look at a different one for right now and then show you how to get through them uh, lots of different colorful ones this one's nice with the orange here's some with uh, lots of different squares and data on them a nice bright white one full of faces in here definitely a nice red one um, looks like a crescent moon and of course all of these will get bigger when you touch them like that with animation we'll show some more faces in a minute in the meantime back here in display beyond the watch faces you got the menu views for how you see your apps they can be in list view if you want you can go into a honeycomb and move around them that way uh, a grid view they're all circles and parallel has a little bit of the other one showing through surface looks like it's all you know, a whole surface of a sphere basically you've got crescent you'll get the names on the side you got full moon, same kind of thing, but they're going across the top. A helm, which is a circle, and then back to list view. We'll stick in that one, makes it easier for us to go through the, uh, the individual ones. And that is in display at the menu. And again, twist your wrist to see the time is available on here. You can do that from the pull down menu or activate it directly here as well. The vibration and ring we got into, you got the mode of these three, and you've got the intensity, a selection of soft and strong. There's a subtle difference. I can feel that. Yep. Not really big, though. Uh, they're about the same. Do not disturb mode. Um, when you're going to bed, you can toggle that on and off. And, of course, it'll silence calls and notifications when it's on. An overall low power mode. And you really don't need it from what I've seen. This thing's hugging at 100% all through the night. So I found that pretty cool. And, but you can turn that on if you want. Phone is where we set everything. You activate it. And this is where you want to turn on media audio if you want to be able to stream uh, music or podcasts and such from your phone. Don't be concerned when you try it and it doesn't work. You actually have to toggle it on here. So remember that. And you can do the phone reset here as well. The always on display now. It's an AMOLED, so you can have these kind of things. We can have analog or digital. I'm going to put it here, put it on style one, turn this on, and we got to time this puppy out for you to be able to see it. There, look at that. I like that one. It's a soft orange. You can see the little dots all the way around, and it integrates perfectly with the orange look of the watch. Wow, really nice. What about the other ones? This is the other analog one. It's uh, more of a white with uh, bright hands. And that, of course, will integrate with any color. And the um, digital ones now. There's two versions available. This one, where you have the digits in the middle, the date, uh, day of the week, and the date on the side. And a simpler one, where you have big digits left to right and AM, PM up at the top. Those are the four different ways of displaying the always-on um, information. Then you've got the system reset, reset, power off, and restart available to you. And uh, finally, an about that tells you the version is this one, an MOY EJK3-2.0.6. Okay. And that all, of course, was coming from settings, which was up here. The one I didn't cover is this fun one here. That's the little water drop eject. So if you go swimming with it, you want to shake the water out of the speaker, you tap this. Listen carefully now. Here you go. You guys know what a didgeridoo is, right? That so sounds like a good didgeridoo. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's do... <laughs> I think we need a different watch face after that one. Let's play with that one. Pretty? Okay. Now, other navigation. We came down and got it to all of that stuff. Go up, you get to notifications, push from your phone, all that kind of stuff. Go to the right, and uh, you get your connected, disconnected to your phone, apparently. Uh, we've got the music... Uh, player in here which we'll demo here in a minute this is your calling and we have to be paired for the calling for that um, this is a blood pressure icon it shows you your 
systolic and diastolic. These are your exercises. You're going to see all these again when we go through the app drawer. This is a basic stopwatch. Well, we may as well start it and see if it'll run in the background, right? We can't get out of it that way. Can't get out of it that way. I think we're stuck. We can do a lap, but you have to stop it in order to exit it. And when you come back in, oh, wait a minute. Where were we? We are from the watch face over here. And we did the stopwatch. Yeah, it resets it. So it doesn't run in the background. And you can't take it out of stopwatch mode when you're using stopwatch on this one. And then this again is the settings, which is exactly the same as that. But it looks different, right? Display, vibration, all of those things. Yeah, exactly the same, but a different icon. But that's what you get when you go to the right. When you go to the left, meaning you're switching over to the right, you get into uh, all your different items. This is your uh, daily activities, step count, calories burned, distance traveled, and so forth. Last night's sleep information is here, and hours and minutes, and uh, when you went to bed, when you woke up. You've got your heart rate. It's using green diodes. Cover those. Oh, look at that. We still have the cover on the back, too. We didn't take that off. You should take that off right at the very beginning, guys. It doesn't really hurt things, but it's a film covering the diodes, so you get better results if you do it like this. Max, min, wow, okay, probably because I've just been moving it around, and when it's working, it's going to give you the heart rate. There's your blood pressure, does the same thing when you activate it. And then blood oxygen, we want to start a reading on that one and take a quick peek to see what it's looking like. Green diodes on this one. Am I still in it? Okay. Yeah, sometimes they use red diodes, which is a better uh, color for doing blood oxygen, but this one's working with the red diodes. It takes it about a minute to give you a reading, and so far it's coming in at 99%. Given all of these results, I'd definitely check them against um, a calibrated instrument for yourself if you pick this watch up, um, just to make sure that they're matching what you're seeing from calibrated instruments. These are not medical grade by any means. Weather, uh, in the uh, city you put it in, in Fahrenheit or centigrade, you got forecast capability in here as well. And then back to your watch face. But it doesn't loop around the other way when you go this direction. So to get all the way to weather, basically, you got to go over to here. And I don't see a way to add or subtract these cards or to change the order of them. So that's stock inside of here. Now, bottom button. These are all your exercise activities, walking, running, cycling. Those can be tied through the app to GPS, and you can get a track in a map on the app. But there's no GPS built into the, uh, the unit itself. But you do have that capability. All the rest of these are uh, interesting things. You can add a whole bunch of more different ones, water sports, activities, trainings, dance. Any of these go into subsets. So you have plenty of different exercises. You can contour it just the way you'd like for uh, your workout activity. And then finally, the upper button. Tap it. You get into your app drawer. Tap it back. You get to the watch face. We start out with activity we just looked at. you got sleep, heart rate, phone. Now in phone, um, you pair it for the phone for Bluetooth calling. And uh, then you get access to your call logs and um, uh, keypad and all of those different things exercise and exercise records this is where if you do any workouts you'll see the records here on the watch then the blood pressure and blood oxygen now we saw both of those already and weather as well and messages so a lot of these things that appear in the app drawer you get to by navigating other ways remote shutter so you can use the watch as a trigger to take pictures if you're running that in the app and the music player i wanted to point this out that this particular watch has probably the best audio I've heard on any smartwatch. And I'm not kidding. Wait till you hear this. I've got it paired to the phone now. We've got some music queued up. I just love these always on screens. They're so nice. Everything's orange at this moment. Let's play this thing. Here we go. That's coming out of the watch, guys. Listen to this. Beautiful. Now the speaker's right up here. Makes it kind of tricky to try to mute it with your finger. But boy, on your arm, it reflects it back. 
Oh, it is just so clean, so crisp. And of course, you got volume control right here, too, and it's nice and smooth. I mean, even soft, this one sounds great. Wow. Okay. Um, and then overall settings, your AI voice for Siri or, or Google that you can talk to. And then more gives you uh, your relaxation, inhale, exhale type stuff. If you're stressed, it'll be ha a faster rate. And falling asleep will help guide you into a slower breath rate. You've got basic timers in here. Countdown timers, alarms, and stopwatch we looked at. You got a calendar, simple little calendar in here. You got it by month. You go into it and you can see the day. Then you've got uh, ladies, your cycle tracking. If you have that set up in the app, it'll show you where you are currently in your cycle. And looks like you can go forward and back. Yeah, to see uh, what things are going to be like on different days for you. And then you find your phone and uh, a nice little calculator in here. Always like to play with that, see what the digits look like. And it's multi-digits and nice. It could be a bigger display, but definitely readable white against the, the black like that. And uh, that's pretty much the apps and the watch. This is a custom face I downloaded from the app. And let's switch over and show you more of those, plus how the app works with this watch. Our good old standby, the Fit. Oh, lots and lots of watches use this one. That's the uh, icon you're looking for. Here it is in the Google Play Store. You download it, you install it, you open it, you set up an account if you want to, and um, then you land into the home page. And this is the information that you get. We have an overall step count showing you the steps per hour. It's still morning, so I don't have a whole lot to show you, except it's in yards. Look at that. I'm not even up to miles or anything, so it's actually giving us down to the hundredth of a yard in distance. Really fun. Uh, overall information here on day, week, or month. And then it gives you some uh, activity information, last seven days performance, and how you rank with other people. That's one of the things that DeFit likes to do is show you your ranking. Last night's sleep time information. Got a little thing going on. Sometimes it's not quite picking up, but when it triggers in, then you get the uh, rapid eye movement, light sleep, deep sleep, and if there's any awake time, that would show up as well. Here's the breakdown ratio of your um, sleeping. Had a lot of dreams last night. There's my total time. Your sleep quality score is here as well. And then your heart rate information showing you last night's heart rate. So if you had any blips, they should show up there. Uh, your highest, your lowest, and the average, which is what you can look for as your baseline. You got last seven days sleep trend as well. And then where you fit against other people in terms of these different categories. Nice exposure to sleep information. Now we're into heart rate. I have it turned on for full continuous heart rate. And I've taken it off, of course, because we're doing the review information. But it shows you last night asleep and then awake. And I'm primarily in the light zone based on my age and uh, weight and gender and things like that that I guess you put in here for it to compute. And again, you have it across. Uh, you can compare it for week and month. And a calendar up there to change to as well. Now, blood pressure and blood oxygen are individual readings. They're not done on a continuous basis. So you see the last reading in here, the last seven here. And you could take an instantaneous measurement if you want to and trigger it from the phone to the watch to actually do a blood pressure reading. Be cautious on blood pressure. Double check these numbers against your calibrated instruments like a cuff or a doctor's office's uh, reading for you uh, to make sure that it's accurate enough for you to um, be comfortable with. Blood oxygen, similarly, this is a one-time reading Tells you a little bit about it, shows you the last seven trends. And it, you know, when you're at 98 to 99 percent, look at that. It's hard to tell the difference because uh, it's from zero to 100. But nonetheless, you get the numbers down here. That helps. And your last reading, and again, measure will take an instantaneous uh, measurement for you. Ladies, your period information is here. The text is kind of funny, but that might be the way I have my text set up on the phone. Um, this is showing you where you are in your cycle 
and it shows you where you are in this particular segment of your cycle. As long as you set that up here in the app, and you can do that over here under the other buttons. Then wait is something that has nothing to do with the watch or your phone. It's something you would enter manually based on your own weight. But if you're going to do a program to try to increase or decrease your rate and you want a way to track it, you can add data to it. And then there's an intake reminder, which is just basically how much uh, water you're drinking. Uh, unless you go to the bars and then you could, you know, do shots, I guess. No, no, no. He didn't say that. It's for water intake, for health purposes. Your drinking record is in here. Oh, your water record. And settings up here let you set goals and um, do things like that too. Again, this isn't automatic. It's something just like weight that you have to manually enter into it. These are all of the uh, cards and information related to your physical health. You tap the second one, that's going to take you into a workout section. And they got all these different classes on losing weight and building muscle and going to the gym. And you don't have to pay an annual fee. Hello, Fitbit. Hello, Google. Hello, Aura. All of you guys charging uh, subscriptions. There are ways of getting a lot of this stuff for free, guys. And um, meditation training on here. You've got these classes that you can take, too. I'm pretty sure you could just download this app, not even pair it to a watch, and come over here. You might want to give that a try if you don't own a watch yet. And just check these things out, because I don't really believe you need to have a watch in order to take advantage of them. Now, Workout Now, this is where you have uh, your tracks in your area of your specific workouts if you initiate them when you have the app with you in the phone. And that gives you all kinds of actual detail about how you're doing. So, yeah, these tabs and things are pretty cool up here. Here, you've got... Um, your class records in here for the different workouts that you've done. And you can assess how you're doing daily, weekly, monthly, year, or all time. Very, very nice. And that's this bottom second tab. Then you talk about the device itself. Well, we are on the W101. That's what it looks like. It's connected. And remember the watch face I downloaded? Well, here are the actual watch faces in the watch. These are the stock ones. And you can switch instantly to them. I should bring this puppy down here for you. And if I just pick one like that, I guess it has to be active, it'll switch over. And you can just see it instantly go to that particular face. And then any custom faces you've put in are here. And that's from the face gallery. So I can go into the gallery now. And uh, new watch faces that they've come out with is a category. And then you go into that. As it downloads them from the server, you get to see all of them. Again, it's a, an AMOLED screen watch, so you're going to get vivid colors. If they look vivid on this AMOLED uh, screen phone, you can imagine they're going to look just as good, if not better, right there on the watch. Really large selection. This is the one, the Lantana, that I have installed right now. And it just keeps flipping them and updating them. And that's just in this one category. If you're leaning toward art or funny or colorful or if you want modern or classic you've got all these different categories as well for uh, your faces good selection in here too set up for notifications things that you have on your phone social media accounts that you'd like pushed to your watch when there's notifications uh, you set that all up here Find your device is just what it says. You trigger it, it'll uh, ding for you on the watch. You've got alarms you can set up either on the watch or from your phone, and it'll transfer over and let you know uh, on the watch when that alarm time is up. Remote shutter for taking pictures, the e cards for exchanging social media information, um, your favorite contacts. This is where you take the contacts from your phone and subset them down to be the ones you're going to put on your watch so that when you're making your Bluetooth calls, you'll have them available for you. Others is your time format, units, and so forth. Uh, you can set your auto lock from 5 to 30 seconds, just like we do there. And uh, something about daily quotes. After you open the home page, it'll display quotes. I uh, don't use that one. And a quick view. Um, 
which is the effective period of the quit view, uh, and you can set that for all the time, uh, or you know, when you're awake or whatever, you know, turn it off for nighttime. You can control the phone music. We saw that. Now, there is a mode, if you don't have this set up like you saw earlier, where you um, can initiate a uh, playing music from your phone and it plays through the watch. If you don't set that Bluetooth connection up, you can still use the music player to play the music on your phone, which is fun because if you really would prefer to play it on your phone um, but control it from your watch, you can do that. Either way, just turn this thing on and off and make sure you have your Bluetooth connected if you want it to come out of the uh, uh, watch itself. Scene mode. This is when you have the do not disturb capability. Um, so it's going to not give you any information. And you have battery savings, you know, of course, too, if you want to extend the battery. And then weather, temperature, and uh, style, Fahrenheit, centigrade, Celsius, uh, and what city you'd like it in or your local locality. Then health. You can have uh, reminders to move uh, every hour. Heart rate warning, if you turn that thing on, you can adjust it to match what's appropriate for your age um, and leave it at that. And ladies, this is where we were talking about the three parameters you need to put in to track your cycles. Uh, and the calendar is right here. And this is what it looks like. And the circle is around where you are based on the data that you put in. And that's what transferred over here. You can see it on the uh, watch itself as well. You can reset it all if you want to from this tab. And that is this one. The last one is all about you, your goals, your profile information. You can tie it to Google Fit so it'll transfer the data over if you like to use that app and basic information. And that's the DeFit app for this watch. So let's finish up with the specs on this watch. Here's the sizes, the band length, and so forth. In terms of what's inside, you've got a nice 410 milliamp hour battery, an AMOLED 1.43 inch 466 by 466 uh, pixel resolution uh, screen, which is beautiful. Comes in two different colors. You're looking at the black orange, and then there's a coffee color as well. And um, it's the Viren W101 smartwatch. And as we mentioned before, this puppy is a. Uh, Got a lot of rugged capability. You can dunk it in water up to 10 meters. You can put it under dirt and stuff. It's anti-scratch, anti-dust. You got high temperature resistance as well as freezing and cold temperature resistant. And you can get it from Fossibot. That's the company that's sponsoring this one. Uh, it's got, uh, they're directly from their website, about $70 or so. And basic information for it is here, and uh, it's a real winner. In terms of my opinion on it, I, I think it's a great watch. If you want the best music player on your arm on the market, uh, this is it. I'm really impressed with it. If you like the always-on screen, you, you got it. If you like a variety of watch faces that can get you right to anything you want to that have these touch buttons in here. If you want your daily information about your step count, calories burned, last seven days, and so forth, you got it. If you want uh, your sleep information tracked directly on the watch and we've looked at all of this stuff it's here it's a really elegant uh, device um, extremely well on the battery life given that it uses an always on display uh, check it out it's at 85 percent now after three days yeah and uh, I use it with the always on display and oftentimes I brighten the display way up it was a completely off right there here it is full bright I mean, you can't really tell except that the background gets dimmed down when something really bright in the foreground happens there. But it's super, super bright. You got the ability to, to, to shake the water out of the thing, playing a didgeridoo, for goodness sake. Listen. Yeah. I go for it. The W101, again, uh, from Fossibot, our newest sponsor here. And... Uh, Check it out. I think you'll be happy. Thanks for watching, gang. We'll see you again soon.